Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Let's Play of Terraria. This is the Xbox 360 version of Terraria, which was just released. And this is what I've done so far. This is part number two of my Let's Play. And in part number one, after about 20 minutes, I managed to build this! My lovely first home. Okay, yeah, I was a complete no uh, noob, and I had no idea what I was doing. And this is all I managed to do, but since then, I've now played through the tutorial and I kind of know a bit what I'm doing. And so I'm going to actually convert this mess into kind of a shack. I'm not going to count this as my first house because it's a bit rubbish. But I'm going to have this as just a safe place for me to go uh, so I don't die again like I did in the last video. Okay, so I, the first thing I should do is probably make this into a proper house. And I now know how to make a workbench. So uh, if I just make a workbench like that and then... Um, I'm still having a bit of trouble with the uh, the menus, not because there's anything wrong with them, just because I'm, I'm not used to them yet. Actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to change this floor to um, into wood. And for something to be considered as a house, it needs to be at least six blocks high. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So, okay, so it's, it's a big enough house. And so then all I need to do is put down some wooden floor, and then I need to put down a backdrop and a door. And then I think I need a workbench and like a chair. And then it's considered a house. So let me go and do that quickly now. Uh, I also found out that you can't actually sleep uh, throughout the night. And uh, when I ended the last video, it was night. But then I saved and quit. And when I loaded it back up, um, it was day. So I don't know if you leave the game, it skips the night. But uh, you can get beds, I believe, just to set your spawn points. They're still useful. Uh, but yeah, it's just something kind of different. You can't skip the night. Which at first I was a bit like, oh, that's rubbish. Uh, but then apparently you can... Uh, it's not like Minecraft. Apparently, uh, the night is kind of like a bit of like a different game. There's all apparently there's all different items you can find, and uh, like you can trade different items with people. You can go mining and stuff. So uh, I don't think the like the night is wasted time in this game. Uh, anyway, this is a bit of a mess still. I should probably make a door uh, about here, and I'm also going to uh, get rid of this little dirt block down here. And Zach, out the way! What are you doing, Zach? <laughs> He's trying to keep trying to get close to me. Now, I don't really know who Zack is. He's kind of just uh, some guy who's with me. It's not a real person. It's like AI controlled, but he just sort of hangs out. And if I got any questions, I ask him them. <laughs> and yeah, so I, I do really need to sort this out. Let's go to that little stump and then uh, let's let's make a little door here. So I'm going to put down my workbench um, here, I guess. I'll do it about there. And uh, also for it to be considered a house, it needs to be at least 10 blocks long. And I'm pretty sure this is over 10 blocks long, uh, so we should be fine. And uh, what you can actually do is make, uh, like, the backdrop. Like, you see it's just sky there through my house. Uh, you can actually fill all that in as well. And so, yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff I need to do at the same time. And, um, right, so let's make let's make a door first. And let's make uh, a chair. And I'll make a sign as well so I can mark my little hut. <laughs> And uh, you also need to make wooden walls. There we go, wood walls. There we go, so I can fill the old, uh, the back in there with wood. And so is that wood wall? Okay, no, it's not. Okay, let's put my door in first. So my door can go there, jolly good. And you just press B to open and close it. Uh, like that. There we go, got myself a working door. It's a bit more like a house now. And what I actually need to do is get rid of that dirt in the background because it looks like a bit of a mess. And uh, the way you do that is you make a hammer Look at me there, here like sounding as if I know it all. I'm kind of <laughs> working this all out as I go. Yeah, so if I use the hammer, I can actually get rid of that dirt in the background instead of uh, like the foreground stuff. And I believe to make uh, most of my tools and stuff, I need an anvil though. And I'm not actually sure how I make an anvil. I think I need iron to make an anvil. I do have some iron though, and I just destroyed my workbench as well. I haven't actually properly destroyed it, have I? No, here it is. Right, so let me put that back down. And then... um. Yeah, I'm going to start putting some of my walls in the background. It'd be good to get this finished before it becomes night. And then when it becomes night, I think I'm going to go mining. I think I'm going to uh, go down and try and find some more materials and, I don't know, just some more things to build out of. Okay, so you need to fill this in completely. I think there's like, you can get like weird gaps where it makes a strange pattern. But uh, let me just try and fill this in as much as I can. Um, <laughs> like you got like two modes. You've got like automatic mode and manual mode. But manual mode seems, uh, I don't know, just really a bit... A bit slow and laborious. Okay, so I need to make some more walls. Um, 
I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm still a bit slow of all the menus, but I mean, it's just like Minecraft. You're just going to get used to it. Like, I'm sure in like a few months' time, this is all going to be so second nature and I'm going to be so quick and not put any thought into it. But for now, it's all just, it's just a massive learning curve. This is the time I like, though. I love it when you just get a brand new game like this, when it's kind of like a sandbox game and everything's new to you. Every new ore and item you find is, I don't know, it's just quite exciting. <laughs> It's like in uh, Minecraft, the first time I found gravel and I got all excited because I found gravel. Like, <laughs> now I'm just like, oh great, more gravel getting in my way. But at the time, it's exciting because it's all new. Okay, right, let me let me get rid of this mess at the top here. Can I not reach that? I'm not tall enough. Right, if I come here and jump, big jump. There we go. All right, okay, let me get rid of this mess on the top here. Uh, right, if I get rid of this dirt first, then I'll be able to get rid of that little bit there. <laughs> And here we go, it looks like I got a nice little house there. Once I put my chair down, uh, then I believe people can move in. Like, you can actually have people, like, staying in your house, like NPC characters, which is quite cool. And uh, I need to put down a bit of wood there. Do I have wood up here? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, something else that I found out you can do is um, if you go over an item and press an item on the D-pad, a, a button on the D-pad, you can actually set uh, things to be, like, kind of, like, quick select. So you can see there I got my D-pad so I could press up to get my sword out and right to get my axe out and so on. And that, that's kind of useful, it's quite a useful thing to know. Okay, right, let, let me put my wood here. I should probably start planting some more trees. There's like, there's so many things that I'm trying to do all at like the same time. It's kind of a bit overwhelming at first in a game like this when you're trying to do like a little bit of everything. So let me get rid of this little backdrop there. There we go. This looks alright, doesn't it? My first little, my little shelter. I suppose it is kind of my first house. I don't want it to be my first house because it looks rubbish. And I want my first house to be good, but <laughs> it, it is but it is the first place I live. <laughs> there we go. My nice little safe area where I can hide from the googlies. And yeah, I got my workbench here. I need to put down my chair. And so I'm just going to shove that down anywhere. This way my buddies can move in. Put it next to the workbench. <laughs> Facing the wrong way. I don't know if I can change that. And I'm going to put my sign up. I wish I put the sign up. Um, I'll put it on the roof so I don't keep accidentally clicking on it. Um, and what, what, shall I, what shall my sign say? Um, uh, Stampy's Wonderful Hut. There we go. And uh, I think you actually place it, then edit it, I believe. Uh, there we go. Use. Uh, edit. Stampy's... Wonderful... Why do you use such long words? <laughs> Wonderful. Hut. Very nice. Jolly good. And I don't actually believe you can see signs unless you click on them. You've got to go and click on them. And oh no, I'm getting attacked by some slimes here. Go away. Get out of it. Leave me alone. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with my wonderful hut. I just built it. <laughs> I think the slimes are, are kind of a little bit pathetic, to be fair. So I don't have to worry too much about them. <laughs> it was those other things. I, there's like these weird flying things that I found in my last video. And they, they properly ruined my day, they did. They killed me. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a bunch more wood now, uh, just before it gets dark. And then when it does get dark, I'm, I'm going to go mining. And it might actually also be a good idea to spread out some torches. I believe it works like it does in Minecraft, so that... Uh, the googlies only spawn like in dark areas so if i just sort of shove a few torches like around my house uh, then hopefully we should get less things like i'm, I'm sure i'm still going to get attacked by some things but uh, hopefully not quite as many so yeah let me just shove a bunch around here and uh, torches are actually really easy to make all you need is uh, wood and some of those slimes and the slimes seem uh, pretty common so i don't have to worry too much about torches uh, but yeah then i'm going to go mining and uh, you can actually plant trees, I believe, with uh, acorns, I think it is, you use. Let's see if I can plant a tree. There we go. Got a nice little tree there growing next to my house. Might plant a few more down this way as well and get some more trees while there is a, a small bit of light left in the day. <laughs> can I plant the tree? Jolly good. Right, so I'm just going to cut down this one last tree and then I'm going to uh, finish off making the inside of my house. I don't know what else to add, to be fair. And then I'm, then I'm going to go mining, my first mining trip in Terraria. <laughs> Hopefully you are enjoying the series. I know we're uh, still right at the very beginning and I'm still a bit of a noob, but we can sort of learn the game together. Hopefully if you do buy the game as well, it's sort of, you can be learning at the same time as me, so you're not there getting really annoyed at how rubbish I'm doing. And oh look, I made some tiki torches, I think, there. I think they're ones that can just sort of stand up by themselves. Yeah, look, I made four tiki torches. I might put some of them on my roof. And oh, here we go, got another slime. It's quite good, actually. I wanted some more slime to make uh, some more torches. Go on, get out of it. Get out of my house. <laughs> you leave Zach alone. Right, I'm going to put a tiki torch there. 
and there. And uh, yeah, I might just shove a few more around here, uh, just so we get less stuff spawning. Can I jump up there? I think you can jump six blocks high, so you can jump uh, pretty high in this game. And I'm gonna kill this other slime as well, just to get some more slime. <laughs> Come on, get him, get him. I need, I need to make some more weapons. I need to make a better sword. <laughs> I don't know, just something else. Like I, I played through the um, the tutorial to sort of learn what I was doing, and then when I finished making that video, I just sort of uh, carried on playing around for a bit to learn some more stuff. And I went mining, just like, not really mining, I just dug down a little bit. And I found a chest with an enchanted boomerang in. And that was like Christmas, finding an enchanted boomerang. <laughs> it was so exciting. So I really want to find something like that. I don't know if that was just, like, in the tutorial world they put that chest in. Or whether when you go mining you do just find random items. But um, I guess we're going to find that out now as I, as I head down. Okay, so is there anything else I can build? I think I might be able to build a furnace if I got enough um, cobblestone. Uh, do I, do I have enough stone? Uh, no, I know, I need uh, 20 stone. I don't think I've got any stone, actually. Uh, but I can make a few more torches. Um, oh, I can make a table? Uh, I don't even know what a table does, but I might, I might as well put it in, seeing as I can make it. <laughs> I have plenty of wood. And uh, I, I keep I keep going to use the D-pad on the menus, but it doesn't let you, and I keep just changing what I quick select. So I want sword, axe, and uh, I think torches will be good. Uh, because you can actually hold torches and use them as light. Uh, you can see I can here walk around while just holding the torch. And what's this? We've got a big floating eyeball. We've got a demon eye. Right, let's take it on. Right, let's, let's be brave. Come on, demon eye, bring it on. Oh, I did like five damage. That did like nothing to it. <laughs> I think the best way to fight is here in my doorway because then I know where they're going to come from. I can just stand here and just spam my little my little copper sword or whatever it is. <laughs> come on, slime. Bring it on. Bring it on. There we go. I got him. What I do need to find out how to make is a chest. Just so if I die, then it's not too big a deal. And here we go. Here we've got some zombies showing up as well. It's alright, I'll take you all on. <laughs> it looks like spreading out my torches and lighting up the area did absolutely nothing because <laughs> there's still a whole load of googlies attacking me. <laughs> I should be fine here though because if I do get overwhelmed I can just slam the door in their faces and be fine. <laughs> oh, I'm doing alright though, they're not even hitting me. I guess it's like the best way to do it, just sort of stand in my doorway and just sort of jab them with my little pathetic sword. <laughs> I want to get a proper weapon, a good weapon. I'm getting a load of money though. I have no idea what money does. Maybe it allows me to um to trade with the NPCs, like people like Zack. Right, let me, let me see what I get from this zombie. What does it drop? I wonder if it drops anything useful. And oh, there's a bat up there as well. Oh, it's all so exciting. There's so many new things to find. I love it. <laughs> I love my little jabbing animation as well. Like, get back, get back, get back, get back. <laughs> just like poking it. I guess I just get money. All right, one more zombie. Kill one more zombie, and then I'm going to go and do something different because... Uh, I think they're going to be here coming all night. Come on. Come on. Poke it in the face. Poke it in the face. Go on. Oh, there's a bit of lag or something there. I think it was auto-saving. You saw that thing in the bottom right-hand corner. I think that meant it was saving. It kind of jerked me a bit there. Right. Sorted. Got myself a bunch of money. Uh, is there anything else I can make now? I kind of want to get uh, four more stones so I can make myself a furnace or something. Uh, but let's go mining. Can I just dig down here? Um, I might actually just go... I'm going to make some more torches while I'm here. Uh, can I make some more torches? There we go. And I'm also going to make some some like wooden platform thingies. That way, uh, once I go down, I can get back out. And yeah, let's head off. I'm just going to dig down here, I guess. I don't think it's quite so dangerous digging down as it is in Minecraft. Uh, because you can kind of see a bit below you. You can see, like, if I get my torch, I can actually see... Uh, slightly what's underneath so if I am gonna dig down into lava at least I, at least I know it's gonna be coming and I can stop digging <laughs> Let's go down. Let's try and find something other than dirt blocks <laughs> I don't know if dirt is used for anything in this game I suppose you could build out of it if you got nothing else, but I don't know I'd like to build out of some nicer materials Okay, what I'm actually going to do is as I go down uh, try and make a ladder back up. So I need um I need wooden platforms. Is that them here? Here we go. A lot of the items seems to look quite like similar with the wooden items and stuff. I guess I'm just gonna have to get used to it. So if I just sort of place it one about there, I guess. Can I jump onto that? And then one there. There we go. That way I can easily go and jump back out. And oh no, it looks like there's a zombie gonna join me. No, go leave me alone, zombie. Get out my pit! Oh no, I could take them on when I was fighting in my doorway. They might actually hurt me while I'm here. I might actually block this off then if things are gonna keep dropping down. I might actually block the top off here with dirt. 
That way, um, I should be kind of left alone while I'm mining a bit. If I just do that, that way things won't keep dropping on me. I'm going to put down another torch about here. And let, let's keep going down. Let's keep adventuring lower. I actually know you can... um. You can actually get glow sticks or like, yeah, I think they're called glow sticks, something like that. Like kind of like flares that you can just sort of drop down tunnels to light up the entire way. And I also need food. Can I eat my mushroom? Can I just eat it raw? There we go. That got up a tiny amount of food. Also did something. I got I got a buff on me. Uh, uh, potion sickness. Cannot consume any more healing potions. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> that really helped me out. Note to self, don't go eating wild mushrooms. <laughs> Maybe you've got to try and, like, uh, cook them or combine them with another item before you use them. I just want to find something useful. I kind of just want to find stone, to be honest, just so I can make my furnace. And I also don't want to dig down too far so I can't get back up. Oh, it's getting quite dark, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Here's some stone, at least. Uh, right, let me get my pickaxe back out. I'm going to put down another torch, like, here somewhere. Boom, put the torch down. Oh, that's a tiki torch. There we go. Right, here we go. My, my first mining trip. How exciting. I think that I'm probably going to spend a lot more time mining in this Let's Play than I did uh, on, um, on Minecraft. I think, like, I, I know it sounds silly, but I think mining is a much bigger part of Terraria than in Minecraft. Like... I mean, in Minecraft, you do it to gather your materials and then spend a lot of time building. I think in this game, you're going to spend a lot of time mining, uh, but not so much time building. And there seems to be something else here. What have I found here? Oh, iron ore. Here we go. This is what I wanted, iron. I think if I use uh, the stone to make a furnace, I can then uh, smelt my iron to make iron blocks or iron bars or ingots or whatever they're called in this game. And then I should be able to make an anvil to make some better tools. Maybe make some iron tools might be better than copper. Here we go. I'm, I'm getting a bunch of stone at least. <laughs> I might as well gather it. I know, I know like later on in the game I'm going to have like loads of stone and I won't need to gather it. But uh, for now I'm probably going to need it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, once I've got uh, a bit more stone and found out uh, if there is anything else down here, I'm going to head back up and uh, try and do that. And then that will probably end the video here. So let me go and uh, see if I can actually uh, get back up. <laughs> right, so I think I should be able to jump onto that and then jump onto that. There we go. Uh, can I get up? Can I get up to that next one? Not quite. Here we go. Oh, what's that? Look, there's some. there's a star there. And there's a weird guy. Oh, what's this? Is that, is that another zombie there? Oh, there's another star right there as well. What does this stuff do? Oh, the zombie's after me. You can see me. If I get rid of that block there, will it fall down and just, like, fall right past me? Go on, if I just jump up... Oh, no, stop. It's killing me. Go away. Go away, zombie. Oh, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, no, it killed me. Oh, that zombie's a beast. Is that, like, an extra powerful zombie? Oh, it's trying to, it's trying to break my door down. All right, that's it. Let's use my doorway technique. I dropped all my money. I think that's my money right there, though. Oh man. And then there's a little gravestone appeared. Is that because I died? Does like a gravestone appear? Oh no. Can't you all just go away? Look, you see that bunny? A bunny's head just flew through my door. Oh, leave me alone, zombies. Okay, I need to get that money. Go and get my, get my money back. There we go. I think I just got it all back. Leave me alone. I want to find out what that star was. Has that star disappeared now? Oh no, I can still see it. I can still see it glowing. I kind of just want to push those zombies down that pit. Why aren't they falling down? Go on, fall down, zombies, fall down. I reckon they'll die if they fall all the way down, but they're not. They're not. They're not stupid. They're jumping back up. Right, quickly go get that star. See what the star does. A fallen star. I guess a fallen star just landed there. And what does this say? Stampy Longnose vital organs were ruptured by a zombie. Oh, what a brilliant memento just sitting outside my house. I think I'm gonna leave that there though. It's quite funny. Okay, so let's see if I can make a furnace now, shall we? Um. Here we go, here we go, furnace. Craft a furnace, let me just put that in my quick select bar, whatever it's called. And let me just plonk this down somewhere down here. Can I even fit it in my house? Do I even have room? Um, can I fit it down here maybe? There we go. And now I should be able to smelt some things. Um, here we go. I can make I can make some copper bars and I can make some iron bars. Can I, can I now make an anvil? I assumed Anvil would be in like in this section here. Is it somewhere else? Oh, I can make a chest. Okay, well, I can... oh, here we go. Here's an Anvil. An Iron Anvil. So I'm going to make that. And I'm going to make a chest if I can. Oh, no, I think I've run out of iron. And oh, no, let, me, let me just deal with that zombie before he breaks my bloody door down. 
Leave me alone. Stop bullying me. I'm still learning the game. Don't kill me. <laughs> All right, let me kill these two zombies. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to see if I can make some new, like, some new tools. Maybe an iron sword will be better for killing all these zombies. And I also want to find out what the, the fallen star does. Maybe I can use it to enchant things. Maybe it's like a magical item or something. I'm, I'm doing okay, though. I, I feel like I am learning the game. <laughs> I'm just going to lock Zack outside of all the googlies. Right, okay. Can I make more, like, items now? I think I need to place the anvil, don't I? Um, okay, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm learning the menu just about. How big's the anvil? Can I place it there? Will it fit? <laughs> I think I need to extend my house at some point. Right, let's get rid of this table. I don't need the table here for now. I don't even know what the table does. Can I get rid of the table? Do I have to use the hammer to get rid of the table? There we go. All right, let me shove my anvil down here. I think it's actually becoming day now as well. There we go. I got an anvil. What does that allow me to do? Yeah, look, I can make all this stuff now. Um, I can make a sword. Uh, a wooden sword. Can I make that? Oh, I'll need to be near my workbench, I think. Um... Oh, no, oh, no, I don't think this... Oh, this is what I need to do. This is what I need to make. Okay, so, yeah, I, I could make a pickaxe and an axe and stuff, but um, I need a whole load more, like, iron and copper and stuff, so I'm going to have to go mining again. Uh, sadly, though... Uh, that is going to end this video here. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, my video on Terraria so far. This is the beginning of my Let's Play, and I will get better, I promise. Uh, but I'm still a noob and learning the game. Uh, but sadly, as I said, that is the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!